What's going on? How's everyone doing? Shout out to you. Everybody else seems cool. Shucky! Eat your popcorn. And your Coca-Cola and relax. <clears throat> anyway, tell Colin. I'm ready. going on this is colin how's everybody doing hopefully you guys are having a great day second release today yeah this is a good one this is reno this is from yesterday's docket grandma's went wild last night in my live if you haven't checked that out go check that out same docket this this is a short hearing i can't tell what's going on they mute her and then the guards physically remove her they drag her butt out of court all right, before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe. Do your sharp kick backflips. Let's go. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Ms. Garamendi, were you in the courtroom when the video containing your rights was played? Um, No, I was late. Did you understand the rights that I just explained to the first person, Ms. Alma Guest said? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any questions about those rights? Uh, No. You, did you have sufficient time to speak with your lawyer this morning, Ms. Uh, Hubach? Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's take you through your cases. We're going to be on record in 23 CR 06166. In this case, you were charged with destruction of property. You pled no contest to that on June 12th of 23. And we set it out for sentencing, but you failed to appear allegedly at sentencing both on December 6th of 2023 and then again on April 17th of 2024. Do you wish to admit or deny failing to appear for that sentencing hearing? Uh, for my commute, wait, what can you on the commute on my last case? Yes, they told me that one was closed, but yeah, I probably didn't did not show up. I'm not right. gonna. I'll accept that. You. I'll accept. Thank you. I accept that as an admission, and I'll find you in contempt for failing to appear and not showing but up. I was. Uh, oh wait, but but no no no. But I was not allowed at the library at the times either. They keep trying to trespass me. Okay, well, we'll talk about that. We'll but talk that, about that in a whether minute. Whether or not they, I still didn't appear. So I understand. I understand. Let's talk about your new case then. In your new case, 24 CR 07738, you were charged with trespassing alleged to have occurred on June 17th of this year, and that would be at 200 East 4th Street, the uh, re, uh, RTC bus station. Do you understand that charge? Yes, I do, Your Honor. How do you wish to plead to that charge? I'm uh, no contestant and hoping that I could get time served or get go to community court or something and get All out right. to it. Let's talk. All right, I'm going to plead no contestant. I was not a contestant in this game show. I plead no contestant. So, yeah, I do not accept the prizes. I do not accept the the, the awards. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to skip on by this. About it. In order to enter a no contest plea, I want to make sure you understand that you're waiving your constitutional trial rights that I explained to you earlier. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. I'll accept your no contest plea, and I will find you guilty of that charge. Ms. Drake? Um. Quite frankly, I'm worried about Ms. Garamendi. She's only 19 years old. She's mm. starting to have a, a criminal run in our court. Um, I'd like to see her um, try to get some help. I'd like to see her uh, refer to Yar Court. Mm, interesting. That's an interesting suggestion. Ms. Hubach. Your Honor, that, that would be a joint recommendation. I think that uh, Ms. Drake is absolutely spot on. This young lady is starting to have significant issues, and we'd like to get her some help. Thank you, Ms. Garamendi. I'm I'm inclined to do that. Let me tell you that community court is is great uh, for what we do, but our services are limited. Um, we're only able to uh, um, assess and uh, assist a certain subset of the population, and I think your needs are greater than what community court can provide. So I would like you to uh, attend the youth at risk court with Judge Champagne. Um, it's a much more it's it's more intensive, but they provide more services and they provide more support for those services as well. We'd like to get you on the right track. You're too young to be going in this direction. I totally freaking agree. But the <laughs> question is, do I still get to go out today? Like uh, that's 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 the question. That's the burning question. Because I would love to go skate today. I this uh, is listen. I understand, Miss Garamendi, but uh, but I usually the way Judge Shannon. You know what? I would love to go skate today too. I would love to go ski today. The problem is it is 95 degrees, so I'm not going to go skiing. I'm also not in jail. 
campaign likes this done is to have you in custody while the evals take place and uh, and, and then have you uh transported uh, to hang on hang on have you transported to that uh court on uh, wednesday Ms. Drake, is that the uh, city's recommendation in this case with Ms. Garamendi? I don't know how Yard Court works in comparison to COD. It works the same way, Judge. I just think Ms. Garamendi probably likely has a drug addiction. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to better serve herself by trying to get some days of sobriety and get some evaluations, stay in custody, mm -hmm. and we can help get her on the right, right footing. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Ms. Garamendi, I think the best way we go and the best footing we have uh, with uh, substance use and sobriety and cleanliness uh, being clean is to have you in custody while these evals take place. They won't take terribly long, uh, but it's the better footing to go in this court and actually risk, um, have some success in this court. Let me see when the in custody eval. All right, I am sorry for the mid pause, but just watch the defendant. She is going nuts right now. She does not stop talking. The court put her on mute. This is a short video. I'm going to let it play out. You guys are all awesome. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I will catch you guys tonight when I go live. Until next time. Bye. Calls are. Let's check. For the substance abuse eval judge, I can do June 24th at 8 uh, 8.30. And what about the rant? And for the rant... Oh, he doesn't mean the rant what the defendant's doing. Totally different thing. But watch her get her 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 ass is about to be drug out of the court. July second at nine a.m. Mm. And uh, would she be able to attend community or excuse me, COD court on that Wednesday, July third, in the afternoon, Ms. Drake, if she had that rant the July second? I don't know. It I looks like she just got. Taken. Looks like she just got taken out of the courtroom. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so she's gone. We'll uh, have to uh, have her uh, assessed on Monday. We'll continue these cases. I'm gonna. The bail's already been set on both cases. That's too bad. All right, next case we have.